How's it going movie fans? The 22nd of July 2023 is the 68th birthday of actor Willem Dafoe. A BAFTA, three-time Golden Globe and four-time Academy Award nominated actor, Dafoe's on-screen acting debut came with an uncredited role in 1980's Heaven's Gate, with his first credited role coming a year later as a leading man in The Loveless. Dafoe currently has 11 projects in production, including Poor Things and Finalmente La Alba, both of which are due for release later in 2023. Here are the Firewall's top 10 Willem Dafoe movies. At number 10 is Mississippi Burning. In this crime thriller, loosely based on true events, Dafoe plays Alan Ward, one of two FBI agents sent to investigate the disappearance of three civil rights workers who have gone missing while organizing a voter registry for African Americans in Jessup County, Mississippi in 1964. The runtime's on 28 minutes, and Mississippi Burning has the Firewall rating of 7.9 out of 10. At number 9, is American Psycho. Based on the novel of the same name, set in the late 1980s, Patrick Bateman is a New York investment banker who does everything he can to fit into his shallow social circle while struggling to contain his overwhelming desire for blood and violence. Defoe plays Donald Kimball, a private investigator hired to investigate a murder. The run time's on two minutes, and American Psycho has the follow rating of eight. At number eight is The Florida Project. Defoe received a BAFTA, Golden Globe and an Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actor for his performance as Bobby Hicks, the manager of Magic Castle Inn and Suites, a budget motel in Kissimmee, Florida. The film follows Magic Castle resident Haley and her six-year-old daughter, Mooney. The runtime's on 11 minutes, and The Florida Project has a follow rating of 8.1. At number seven is John Wick. In the first installment of the John Wick film series, John Wick is grieving the death of his wife when an exchange with a group of Russian gangsters leads to Wick, a former hitman, being forced out of retirement to seek revenge for their actions. Defoe plays Marcus, a skilled sniper and an old friend of Wick's. The run time's on one minute, and John Wick has a foul rating of 8.1. At number six, is Inside Man. In this heist thriller, Defoe plays Captain John Darius of the NYPD Emergency Services Unit, who is called into action when a group of bank robbers take control of a Manhattan bank, but find themselves surrounded by the police, turning it into a hostage situation, which requires negotiations. The run time's on 29 minutes, and Inside Man has the follow rating of 8.1. At number five, is Togo. Inspired by the true story of the 1925 serum run to transport diphtheria antitoxin, Defoe plays Leonard Seppala, aka Sepp, who in 1913 welcomes a newborn Siberian husky into his pack of sledding dogs. Sepp writes the dog off due to his size, but over time the troublesome pup proves his worth. The run time's on 13 minutes, and Togo has the foal rating of 8.2. At number 4 is Spider-Man and Spider-Man No Way Home. In the first installment of the original Spider-Man trilogy, Defoe plays Norman Osborn, a scientist and the CEO of Oscorp, who turns into the Green Goblin after testing an unstable strength enhancer on himself. Defoe then reprises the role in the 27th film in the MCU, after the multiverse is broken open following a magic spell gone wrong. The runtime to run 69 minutes, and Spider-Man and Spider-Man No Way Home have the foul rating of 8.4. At number three is Fantastic Mr. Fox and the Grand Budapest Hotel. Since 2004, Defoe has collaborated five times with director Wes Anderson, with these two films being the best of the bunch. In Fantastic Mr. Fox, Defoe voices Rat, the cider drinking security for an apple cider cellar, and in the Grand Budapest Hotel, Defoe plays J.G. Jopling, a ruthless hitman. The run time's on 86 minutes, and Fantastic Mr. Fox and the Grand Budapest Hotel have the foul rating of 8.6. At number two, is Platoon. Set in 1967 during the Vietnam War, soldier Chris Taylor, who is stationed in South Vietnam, is pushed to his limit when he is faced with the questionable conduct of his fellow soldiers and superiors. Defoe plays Sergeant Elias, the compassionate subordinate of Lieutenant Wolf, who the soldiers look to. The run time's on 20 minutes, and Platoon has the foul rating of 8.8. At number one is Finding Nemo. In this animated adventure comedy, Clownfish Nemo has been watched over his whole life by his overprotective father, when a chance to rebel sees Nemo captured by divers, forcing Father Marlin on a journey to rescue him. Defoe voices Gil, a scarred Moorish idolfish, living in an aquarium in a dentist's office. The run time's 100 minutes, and Finding Nemo has the firewall rating of 9. Thanks for watching, next week I'll be counting down the firewall's top 10 prison movies, and if you enjoyed this list, please don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe.